Day three of NFL free agency is underway. Aaron Rodgers might be coming to the division, which I don't think should concern any Patriots fans because I think his best days are behind him. But who knows? Maybe he'll pull a Tom Brady and be better after 40 years old. But I do want to talk about some interesting trade rumors today involving your New England Patriots. So let's jump right into it with this from the Athletics' Jeff Howe back on the first day of NFL free agency. Jeff tweeted out, Broncos wide receiver Jerry Judy's name has continued to come up in trade conversations per source, but Denver's price has remained high. Sounds like they're assessing his value before proceeding. All right. Fast forward to present day, and Jeff Howe tweets out this. Jerry Judy has been a hot name this week. The Broncos asking price has been at least a first round pick. Okay, so now we start a bit of a baseline in a market Oh, maybe Denver really is interested in trading away their former first round pick. But why are we talking about this on the Patriots YouTube channel? This is why. Sources, the Patriots have called about DeAndre Hopkins and Jerry Judy. They also attended Odell Beckham Jr.'s workout last week in Arizona. They're in the wide receiver market, but the price point remains a key component. So we've got some interesting rumors to hit on for today's show. We're going to talk about Jerry Judy in more detail. But first, quick friendly to friendly reminder to go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. We are trying to grow our new Patriots channel here at Chat Sports. So I'm calling on all Pats fans right now to hit that sub button and get us to a thousand subs and then we can really start cranking out videos several times a week now i think it is important to know they would be interested in a trade for a guy like jerry judy because they're looking to replace jacoby myers who signed with the raiders right three year 33 million dollar contract so with him out the door maybe Den excuse me maybe new england really is active and looking for a wide receiver insert jerry judy now, Judy last season for the Broncos in 15 games, 67 grabs, 972 yards, and six touchdowns. You can look at that one of two ways. He's not a 1,000-yard receiver, and we're giving up a first-round pick for him. Or, wow, he got 972 yards with Russell Wilson and Nathaniel Hackett. Imagine what he could do in a non-Matt Patricia-led offense. Listen, when you look at Jerry Judy's stats over his career, it has not really been glamorous, actually, right? I said he could be a star receiver. Maybe in New England he could be, but he has not lived up to the billing if you just go by the numbers of a 15th overall pick in the draft. But he's definitely an ascending guy who is picking up speed, uh, picking up steam towards the end of last season. So comment down below. Would you trade a first and more for Jerry Judy? New England's got the 14th pick in the draft. If it cost the Patriots a first rounder and an early day three pick, would that be something you want, a big, uh, want Bill Belichick to pull the trigger on? Comment Y for yes or N for no. We're all about two-way conversation, getting you guys involved and interactive here at Chat Sports. So give me your thoughts in the comment section. When it comes to trading for Jerry Judy, if I'm the Patriots right now, if I'm the Patriots brass, there's, it's not a very Patriots-esque move to trade a first-rounder for a wide receiver. If they really want to get first-round talent for a wideout, you could just use your own 14th pick on a guy. Now, there's some pros and cons to that, right? Jerry Judy is a known commodity. You know what he is, whereas that's not always the case. I don't think we have to go very far back in time to know that New England might not have a great track record of picking receivers in the first round. CC Nikhil Harry. On the other hand, if you do love a receiver in the draft and you do select him, well, you'll have him for up to five years on his rookie contract, and he could be better than Jerry Judy. Whereas if you trade for Judy, you know he's an up-and-coming guy, but at the same time, he's already halfway through his rookie contract. I'm guessing if it's the Patriots or the Broncos or whoever, they will pick up his fifth-year option, and boom, you can have him for years four and five pretty cheap. That's going to do it for us on today's show. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and like today's video.